Hi guys, welcome to the channel. So as a part of this video, I'm going to talk about, or I'm going to show you practically how to handle auto suggestion in Selenium. Before we proceed, I hope you guys know what is auto suggestion. The moment you go to any application, the moment you type something, you would have seen that it will give you a list of auto suggestion in your Flipkart application or Amazon application or your Google. The moment you type shoe, a lot of options will come auto suggestion. The moment you type software testing, you would have seen a lot of options will be coming. But out of those options, you may have to click one of them, right? Or you may have to click either the first one or the last one, or maybe you have to click one of the option out of the list of options. So we can even handle that in Selenium. I will show you practically how to solve it so that whichever application you are using in your company or, or for your practice, you can write the same code. And what are the program that I'm writing? In case you need it, you can send out a mail to me on this mail ID and I will send the whole program to you. Thank you. So let's proceed. Guys, uh, before I proceed, I just want to tell you that whenever we are dealing with the auto suggestion in Selenium, never go for find element, always go for find elements because you type something and then the list of options will, are coming. So you have to inspect all the auto suggestion you have to select all the auto suggestion and from that you need to choose any of one of them maybe you are choosing first of them maybe you are choosing last of them let's say you want to type something on google.com search bar let's say you want to type something there so that element where you are typing your something that inspection with all the list of options that you're getting you have to inspect all the auto suggestion frame you have to you have to inspect the whole frame in which all the list of options are coming i hope you got it so let me do that so to do that i need to create a class in my eclipse so that class will be probably auto suggestion auto suggestion youtube with the public static void main so I have done that and then I will be launching my browser. You already know how to launch a browser. So you already know what I've done here. So hope you guys remember in my last videos, I have already explained what these two lines will do. And then I probably I will maximize my screen with the help of driver.manage.windows window.maximize it will Maximize my screen and then probably I will launch my URL. So driver.get URL and that URL is going to be my google.com, which is this. So let me copy it. Let me paste it here. So this will get launched. And then I need to type something here, anything, whatever I want. Probably I will search for maybe Bangalore. Probably I will search for Bangalore. And the moment I search for Bangalore, you would have seen many list of options are coming, right? I need to inspect this frame, guys. This frame I'm talking about from here. This frame I'm talking about, which the frame which has all the auto suggestion in it. So before uh, inspecting the whole frame, first I need to inspect this particular component, which is called as which is called as search text bar or search text field. And I need to pass some input so I can inspect it using my XPath. So let me write the XPath for this. So click on do control F. Let me do with the relative XPath here. So as you can see, it has name equals to Q and it has tag of input so tag input put them under a bracket at the rate of variable name attribute name so attribute name is name attribute name is name equals to under a single quote attribute value and that value is q the moment i do that it is only showing me that one of one element is selected is only showing me that one of one element is selected hope you hope you guys can see it is showing me here that one of one element is selected i can take this x path now 
I'll go back to my code. Now I will do driver dot find element by xpath. What is xpath? This is xpath. What you need to do in this, you need to type something here using send keys. That probably will be Bangalore. Guys, whenever you're typing something in your auto suggestion, please remember that you are giving some time, some sleep time for your auto suggestion to come because you would have seen that the moment you type something on google.com or any auto suggestion, it will take some time to show the list of auto suggestion, right? So let us give some time, probably thread.sleep, thread.sleep of maybe three seconds and then click on this to throw the exception and then so you have typed bangalore on your search text field and then probably you have got all the list of auto suggestion guys you need to inspect this frame now i hope you got this which frame i'm talking about this frame guys this frame this frame which has all all the list of auto suggestion okay so let me do that guys i will repeat my statement once again to all of you that whenever you are doing that, always remember that you are doing it with find elements because it has a lot of elements in it. Guys, the moment I have kept my cursor here, can you see my whole? Can you see my whole auto suggestion is getting captured? Let me show you. Can you see my whole list of auto suggestion is getting captured? This is what I want. So let me write it again my xpath. So I can write using my tag name ul tag name ul and then class name which is my class name so that is my attribute name and then the attribute value probably this and then probably we'll see that it is showing me two options now you can see that product is showing two options guys i want you to realize that In my first option under this, I have all the I have all the list of auto suggestion, and I hope you guys can see that all are present under the tag name called as li. Can you see that? So you can go to that using your single forward slash li. You can go to that using single forward slash li. Can you see now it is inspecting total of 10 elements? Can you see that? 10 of 10, it is selecting 1 of 10, 2nd of 10, 3 of 10. Now the meaning is I have inspected my whole auto suggestions. All 10 of them I have selected. Now, if I want to click on Bangalore news, definitely I can do that. If I uh, want to find out Bangalore pin code, I can do that. If I want to click on anything, maybe Bangalore university, Bangalore weather, Bangalore lockdown, with the help of this, I can do that. Guys, just remember that it is selecting total of 10 components or total of 10 elements, total of 10 elements. So you will not use find element, you will use find elements. So driver dot find elements by xpath what is the location what is the xpath this is the xpath and uh, let me keep it under the let me keep it under the return tab list of web element list of list of element with the name as probably auto over over here import your list from the Java util package. And this also you import it from the, this, guys, now this auto, AU2, AUTU auto is having total of 10 components in it. You can get that using auto.size. I don't know whether you observed it or not. The moment you click on size, you would see that the return type of this auto size is INT because you are getting the size of it, right? List of auto suggestions. How many list of auto suggestions are coming? That is that is that one uh, your size method is giving to you, and you know that size method will always give you like one, two, three, and four. 
you already know what is the return type of anything which stores one, two, three, four. It is always int. So let's store in int, probably int of count. To store the total number of count, let me print this to show you. And then I will probably proceed further. Sys dot out control space to write down money. System dot 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 println. And let me run it just to show you that whether it is working or not. And then we'll proceed further. It will just list down how many auto suggestions are coming to me. It will launch a browser. It will go to google.com and it has typed Bangalore guys. It has typed Bangalore. This is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Guys, yeah, spelling of Bangalore is wrong. So let me correct it. B-A-N-G-A-L-O-R-E. And then guys, I have got the count. Let me show you the console. So I've got the count as 10. That means total of 10 auto suggestions are coming. And then what I will do is I will do auto dot get can you see get int index so here i will say count minus one the reason i'm doing this because i want what is the last auto suggestion i want to print this count will give you the total count but count n minus one will give you the last element right because it starts with zero dot so dot click so it will go to the last it will show all from the list of auto suggestion that you have gotten you are getting count minus one that means you're getting the last option and you're clicking on it you're clicking on it so my final output should be it should run a browser it should go to google.com and then it should type bangalore and from the list of auto suggestion it should print bangalore weekend curfew so let me do that now let me run it. So it will launch my browser, then google.com. The moment it type Bangalore, see the last option, Bangalore University result. I hope you could see it. So, and it has clicked on it. I didn't do it, it was automatic. I'll show you again. So I ran it, it uh, launched my browser. It went to google.com, it typed Bangalore. See the last option, Bangalore University result. It has clicked on it. And let's say you want to go to the second last element. You need to click on the second last element. What you need to do, minus count minus two, that's all. So you would see that now from the list of auto suggestion, it will click the second last one. It has typed Bangalore. See the second last one, Bangalore Palace. So it will click on the Bangalore Palace this time. So this is how guys you work on auto suggestion. I hope this program was useful. If you need this program, please let me know and I will forward this program directly to your email ID. Thank you so much, guys. I hope this video was useful. In case yes, please share this video with your needy friends and please give a big thumbs up to this video. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Take care, guys.